hello guys welcome back to the channel my name is samira thank you so much for always stopping by to watch my tutorials first how are you guys doing today hope you are good wherever you are watching this tutorial from so today we are making this beautiful crop top it's going to have elastic at the waistline and uh, we are making this uh, crop top from scratch the cover picture has a flare sleeve. Our uh, material is very small. You can see the fabric that we are using is Dutchess material. So we are going to use printed sleeve for our own sleeve and it's going to come out well also. Please, I will employ you to keep on watching this tutorial to the end if you are interested to know how to make this beautiful style on your own. So guys, you can also click the subscribe button now to subscribe now you can share this tutorial with your friends give this video a thumbs up so that more people can get to see this video and watch from it you can also ask your family members to also subscribe to my channel please another way for you to support my channel is for you to watch my tutorials down to the end guys so like i said if you are interested to know how to make this beautiful style can see it's on my body very beautiful and the color too is very beautiful that we are using so please keep on watching this tutorial to the end guys and let's get started now so this is our material that we are using to make this beautiful crop top that will have elastic added down on it so what we do we'll get started with it so i will just spread it out for us now to start with our measurement and this is how you go about it when making your own so can you see the material that we are using it's a duchess material so just bring out your fabric now so that we'll get started with it so we'll start with our measurement so what i will do you will give your length and that's the length that i'm giving there my length that i'm having there for my crop top is 18 so that's my 18 that i'm giving out so you we'll roll it and get a straight line on it so after that we we'll give our shoulder measurement also so this is how you also go about it please just watch my video to the end and subscribe to my channel and watch it to the end please so what i'm giving for my shoulder is eight this are you also mark when giving your own so this is my eight for my shoulder so after that i'll just give it a straight line and get my arm all line side so this are you also go and mark when making your own so this is the line so after that i will also give my neckline okay so my neckline that i'm giving is 3.5 so this is my neckline that i'm giving now like 3.5 so you know it's have a run neck so what i'm marking first now what i'm cutting is the back side of it that i'm marking first so we will now use our front this bag to cut the front side of it so what i'm doing that is that the front we have a v neck line at the front and it will be i want to give it out by two that's why i just use the back side to start with the cutting so what i give out for my slope for my shoulder is one inch so that's my slope for my shoulder is one inch so from there we'll start our bust measurement now so my bust measurement that i'm giving is 38 the actual bust line is 28 adding my sewing allowance and giving it by one inch on my uh, bust that is the so uh, the allowance so coming to the waistline you know it will have a elastic so the waistline will be more than the waist actual so what i'm giving out now is my actual waistline is 28 adding two inch on it because of the uh, elastic that will pass on that and also the sewing allowance so what i did there my sewing allowance that i give out is 1.5 so that is how you also make your own so that you'll be able to have a space to pass your elastic so you will not do it exactly your waist so that is what i mean so i've done that i've measured the body measurement just for us now to connect so what i'm doing is my arm o curve that i'm using my curve ruler to curve it out and to mark from the show uh, bus to my waistline so this is how you also go about it when making your own so always watch my tutorials to the end please guys 
and subscribe and give it a thumbs up please so just look at everything that you can see me doing and do it okay please so i'm cutting it now remember what i started it is from the back so i'm marking from the back so we'll now use this back to cut our front side of our top that we are making is a crop top that we are making please just look at everything that you can see me doing and if you have your small fabric you can see that it's a very small fabric that we are using to make this beautiful style and you see how it will come out good so just do it the way you are seeing me doing okay so this is how you go about it when cutting it when making this kind of a style it's a duchess material and you can also use any kind of fabric to also cut this style and to come out very good so okay so this is how you also do it so now we'll start with our back the uh, front measurement please so we are using the back to lay at the front now so that we'll cut our front and just look at how i'm going to do the front also okay and do it the way you are seeing me doing so now i'm using the back to lay at the front now so what i put at the at the front side is two inch can you see what i'm pointing out for you is two inch that are added at that front why i'm doing that is because it will have small lap on it at the front side so i'm just trying to put out down so that it will have that enough space at that front and no you will also pass it with a elastic so just watch everything that you can see me doing okay and do it and you see how it will come out very good and our sleeve too you also see the way we we'll also cut it out and face it on the body of this top that we are making it's a crop top that we are making starting it for a crash this i will also marking it so what i'm marking there for my depth of my neck that the neck is 10 what i'm marking there is 10 so i want it to come a little down at the neckline so this are you also mark it when marking your own it's a v neckline that we are making at the front so i've done that and what we just do just for us now to cut it out and go and stitch it together can you see my last that i'm showing that i will use and face at the bottom of the top that we are making so this are you go about it when making your own so i'm just marking my neckline using my chalk to mark it and can you see what i've done there now so i'll just give it that a straight line for my v so this is how you go about it when marking your own and what i use is what i use at my back side for my neck okay what i mark there is 3.5 and that 3.5 i'm also marking at my front neck now so i'm just using my ruler and chalk to mark it so that we'll just cut it out now so this is how you go about it please just watch every detail you can see me doing and go and use your fabric and do it on your own so that you can know how to cut this tie and wear it out because it's a very beautiful style that we are making on this top it's a crop top remember that so this is how you go about it when cutting and making this kind of a beautiful style a crop top that we are using to make this tie and it's a very small fabric i'm since emphasizing that small fabric small fabric you can use it to bring out a good style that you can wear out you can wear it on your jean you can wear it on your skirt that have high waistline so this i you also go about it so what i use my to wear out is my skirt that have high waistline so this i you cut it can you see the way i'm cutting it just to it the way you see me doing it and it's very beautiful it's good to go that you can wear out so i've cut the front side of it now so can you see what i've done now so let me just spread it out open it for you to see how it is so i will open it again because it will be opening at the front side of it later i will take it to the machine and go and stitch together at that middle side and so now i've done that so i want to pass my elastic now so what i've started from to pass it is the back side i want to pass first so let me start with the back side of it now so this is how you go about it so i'm fitting it now so can you see how it is now and before you know it will have that elastic at the downside of it so this is how you go about it when making your own just use your pin to pin it and that's what i'm done there now so that it will not pull out on the other side of it so now you can see how it is now so we have done that 
so what i will also do now is the front side so this is the front one that i want to also pass with the elastic so just see everything that i'm doing and do it the way you are seeing me doing and before you know you will get this tie well and you can also rock it on your body so we've done that so we also use your pin to pin it so that it will not pull out so that is what i've used now so i've used my pin to pin it down and you can see so the remaining one is just for us now to use our scissors to cut it out that is the elastic so can you see how it is now so let me place it well for you to see how it has come out so this i also go about it when making this kind of a beautiful style yes it's a beautiful style can you see how it is so it has come out after that you just go and fix the two sides of the shoulder and to come out good so the next one is the sleeve that we want to go and fix now that is that is the sleeve so this is the width of my sleeve the width is very small it will be pleating it so our crop top from the scratch is ready you can see how beautiful it is on my body we made use of a small piece of a duchess material to achieve this tie and the sleeve is pleated sleeve is different from the cover picture because our fabric is very small so we did a pleated sleeve on it you can see how beautiful it is very simple to learn to make so you can watch the video again if you don't understand what we did just watch it again so that you can able to cut it on your own so you can see how it is on my body i'm using my high waist skirt to rock it so guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to click the subscribe button under my video to subscribe now you can share this tutorial with your friends give this video a thumbs up so that more people can get to see this video and learn from it and we have other tutorials on my channel that you can also check please check it now and please watch it to the end guys another way for you to support my channel to grow so for you to watch my tutorial down to the end guys thank you so much once again for always watching my tutorials thank you i really appreciate you guys so guys i'll see you guys some other time again stay good and be good to yourself. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.